up YouTube, Mike G here, back with another video and in this video guys, I will show you one of the most or highly requested video Ito yung actual meals that I eat in order to stay lean, get shredded, and maintain those six-pack abs If that sounds interesting, let's hop into it Welcome to our first meal, so ngayon ibe-break ko na yung fast ko at kung hindi nyo na itatanong, we do practice what we call intermittent fasting. Yung intermittent fasting is basically an eating window or an eating pattern or time restricted, time restricted feeding na kung saan hindi ka kakain or magkoconsume ng any calories for 16 hours or more. So yung tinatawag nating fasting window. Followed by a feasting window na kung saan ikokonsume mo na yung mga calories mo within a window of time. Usually 8 or less. 8 hours or less. So that's feasting, feasting and fasting window. So yun yung intermittent fasting. Kaya natin ginagawa yung intermittent fasting is that para ma-enjoy natin itong big and satisfying meals at pwede tayong ma makapagsingit ng mga masasarap na pagkain and still be on track with our diet. So yon ang intermittent fasting ngayon. Ibe-break ko na yung fast ko. Ang huli kong kain kagabi is around 7pm. So ngayon, uh, it's 12.40pm. So ngayon, around 17, mag 18 hours na tayong fasted. Papakita ko sa inyo yung first meal ko. Let's go! So, for our first meal, kakailangan na natin ng, syempre, food scale. Hindi mo wawala yan. This is one of the best investment for your fitness journey, no? Food scale. And then, of course, a bowl. And then, oats. Ito, oats. And then, milk. So, yan. Unang-una natin gawin, ilagay natin yung, una, on muna natin tong food scale na to. Is show zero. And then, put our bowl. Mission show siyang number. Let's start back to zero. And then, ilalagay na natin yung oats. So, saan na natin to? Maglalagay tayo ng 35 grams of oats. Alright? 35. So, yan. 35 grams of oats. Yung bago ko nga palang oats, dun sa last full day of eating ko, ang ginamit kong oats is chocolate oats. So, so this is my new favorite. This is banana and honey flavor. Sobrang sarap niya. And of course, hindi mawawala yung milk. So again, let's stir it back to zero. Tapos, maglalagay na tayo ng 26 grams of milk. So that's one serving, isang serving ng oats, and isang serving ng milk. And then after this, I'll just put hot water. And then... Tear it out. 26. So that's 26 grams. Yan, as you can see, our oats is done. Nilagyan ko lang ng hot water. At hinalo. So yan na yung oats natin. Banana oats and milk. At I decided to have uh, milk with whey. Dahil after this, I pupunta na tayo sa gym. So, ang milk ko is yan. Selecta fortified milk. It has 8 grams of protein plus a scoop of this rule 1 whey. So yan, yung first meal ko, whey plus oats. Ten out of ten. This is my new favorite. Kung nga pala pag-usapan natin bakit ako umiinom ng protein shake. Dahil after this mag-gym ako, nabanggit ko ata kanina. After this mag-gym ako at I'm having a protein shake. Bakit? I have read this recent study na ingesting protein before your workout is actually more beneficial than after or post-workout. Di ba alam natin, uh, sa tingin ko, halos lahat sa inyo knows that post-workout meal is is important. Yun nga yung anabolic state after your workout. Kailangan mag-replenish ka. May mga naririnig ako, one hour or 30 minutes, pa paunti ng paunti yan eh. One hour dati, one hour anabolic window after your workout. Tapos naging 30 minute anabolic window. Pero, 
yun, idedebang ko na rin sa inyo, yung anabolic window na yun after your workout is just a myth. Hindi totoo yun. Mas nagmamatter yung total daily protein intake mo for the day. Dahil yung protein, as we all know, is the nutrient. Muscle building nutrient. So, protein is pretty essential. At yung nabasa ko nga pala, balik tayo, dun sa research na nabasa ko, ingesting protein, Uh, pre-workout, before your workout, then post-workout is actually more beneficial dahil mas magagamit mo yun through your workout, pati yung uh, after hanggang hanggang after your workouts, eh, may effect pa rin siya so, simulan na nabasa ko yun, I'm ingesting protein before my workout Alright, breakfast is done done guys, sobrang sarap nito, not even joking it's my new favorite We done. So after this, we will be hitting the gym. Ilalagay ko na lang yung yung uh, nutritional information jan sa screen. And see you later. Pag nago workout na tayo. susunod natin yung consume is thunder. So yan, tapos ko na ang inumin. This will serve as our key workout. This thunder contains 105mg of caffeine that will fuel up our workout. So I just wanna give you an update kung ano yung current routine ko. Um, I switch off my current workout routine from an upper lower split. Now I'm doing an, a push pull legs upper lower. So Again, nahihit natin yung body part natin twice per week. At i-update ko kayo sa lahat ng exercises ko. Today, we'll be, we will be doing a push workout, PPL. Push pull legs. So, today is a push workout. Ilalagay ko lahat ng description, uh, number of sets, reps, pati yung exercise name. Let's go! Starting off our push workout with this exercise called the OHP or the overhead press. The overhead press is easily one of the most underrated exercises for your upper body. Itong overhead press, ang pinaka-favorite exercise ko when it comes to building the bolder shoulders. Ito yung nagke-create ng classic manly V-taper na hinahanap ng halos lahat ng lalaki when it comes to their physique. This is our first exercise. Overhead press. Oo nga pala, nakalimutan kong banggitin. Don't just jump on your working set. Ito, bago akong makarating dito sa 45, which is my working set, meron akong tinatawag na weight acclimation sets. Kung hindi mo alam kung ano yung weight acclimation sets, I already have a video for that. At napakahalaga nun, the link will be in the description box down below. So tara, let's go! exercise is called a dip. Ang dip naman focuses on the lower portion of your chest. It's also, it also works on your shoulder and triceps. So compound exercise to. At dito gagawa tayo ng weighted dips dahil yung, yung body weight dips is, is too easy for us. 
So, hindi tayo agad na papagod doon sa tinatawag nating hypertrophy range. Kaya mag a tayo ng weight to make it more challenging. At patuloy tayong mag-progress at mag-improve para mas mabilis nating makakamit yung body goals natin. Let's go! So ngayon tapos na tayo doon sa ating main compound exercises. Punta naman tayo sa ating isolation exercises. Ito ang unang-una nating isolation exercise. This exercise is called a high to low cable chest plan. Itong, exer itong exercise na to focuses on the lower portion of our chest. At isusuperset natin to with our lateral raises. Papakita ko sa inyo. Let's go! Superset. Superset is basically two exercises done without rest. For example, yung uh, high to low cable chest play natin, is superset natin with a lateral raise. Pagkatapos na pagkatapos natin mag, mag high to low cable chest play, ay pupunta agad tayo doon sa ating lateral rest with no rest in between. So that is what we call the superset. <laughs> And lastly, our last exercise for this push workout will be our finisher, which is a push up. Dito, we will go to failure. Right? In each and every set, this will be three sets to failure. Kung ilan yung kaya mong going push up. Okay? Let's go! For our next meal, this will be our post-workout meal. Kakagaling nat lang natin sa gym. So, what we're having is dalawang white bread, isang egg. So, yung egg na yan, eh, nilaga ko lang para wala nang added oil or added calories. So, boiled egg, two white bread, isang banana. At ang ilalagay natin sa, sa bread natin is 40 grams of this peanut butter. And also, we are having 5 grams of creatine. At ilalagay lang natin siya sa tubig. So yan, kung nakikita natin yung powder dun sa tubig. So basically, that will be our next meal. Ilalagay ko na lang dyan sa screen yung nutritional information ng lahat ng to. And I will see you on my last meal. Peace! Alright! Ngayon, i-prepare na natin yung ating dinner. So for our dinner, we are having chicken sisig. 
Yes! Sisig! Sino nagsabing hindi pwede ang sisig sa mga nagda-diet? Hindi totoo yun! So, ito, let me let me give you all the ingredients. So, unang-una is pan-fried chicken. So, this is 200 grams of chicken. At, of course, we have our mayonnaise. So, this is 100 calorie worth of mayonnaise. Alright? Ito, white onions at syempre yung sili natin. At hindi matatapos ang sisig kung walang chicharon. At dahil napaka calorically dense ng chicharon, so we are having an alternative. This is baked pork pop. So let's check the macros. Let's check the macros. So this is only 80 calories with 3 grams. 3 grams of fat, 0 grams of carbs, and 12 grams of protein. Alright? So this is one of my diet hacks. So itatop natin yan doon sa ating sisig. Let me assemble this and I will show you the finished product. Alright! I'm very proud to present to you my very own chicken sisig. Yeah, just look at it. How beautiful it is. It's really, really beautiful, and I'm telling you guys, taste-wise, 10 out of 10. All right. Sino nagsabing bawal ang sisig sa atin? Sisig, all right. And also, we're having one and a half cup of rice. Ang isang cup ng rice is 160 grams. So one and a half. So 160, chaka isa pang 80. So yun yun. And then two whole eggs. So that's for our dinner. At oo nga pala, mamaya may ipapakita pa ako sa inyong secret snack. So, kaabangan nyo yun, alright? Napakasarap nun. So, wala pala. Chicken sisig na to. Pwede nyo siyang... Pwede nyo siyang i-customize according to your liking. Kung ayaw nyo ng masyadong uh, maraming fat, you can reduce the mayonnaise or huwag nyo nang lagyan ng mayonnaise but I really suggest na lagyan nyo dahil iba talaga yung lasa ng may mayonnaise na sisig sa wala dahil yun nga yung sinasabi ko fat makes our food taste good ba? and also it affects our satiety or yung pagiging cool or staying cool ba? so fat is a is important din na macronutrient para sa atin so lahat ng yan Pwede nyo bawasan yung toyo. Uh, ako personally, hindi ko nilalagyan yung toyo, yung yung chicken dahil maglalagay ako ng porky pops. So, marami na rin sodium doon. So, I, I'm cutting back on my sodium intake. So, yan. Maalat na yung porky pops. So, pag pinag-combine, tamang-tama lang talaga. So, napakasarap. Try nyo to. Try nyo to. Napakalapit nyan. At oo nga pala. Isa pa, isa pang napakahalagang sasabihin ko sa inyo na invest in a good quality food skill. Ito. Uh, bakit? Kung napapansin nyo, buong araw, ginagamit natin siya. Ha uh, halos lahat ng nakikita kong may results sa, sa fitness, eh, meron ito. Isa to sa pinakamagagandang investment na nabibili nyo para sa sarili nyo. Para, sa, para dyan sa fitness journey niya. At ito nga palang food skill na ito, napakahirap hanapin ito. So, I am creating a better deal. Hirap na hirap kasi ako maghanap nito dati. Naghahanap ako sa mga mall, sa mga department store. May iilang mall na nakakita kami ng, ng food scale. Yung price is around 700 to 800. So, para sa food skill, parang medyo mahal siya, di ba? So, I am creating a better deal. If you want one of these, ito yung actual food scale na ginagamit ko, no? Comment down below or message me in my social media account so I can, so I can ship it to you, alright? Ano nga pala, bago ko makalimutan at bago ko maubos yung napakasarap na chicken sisig na to, ilalagay ko dyan sa screen yung calorie information ng lahat ng kinain ko. At gusto ko nga pala sabihin sa inyo na hindi ko na inattract yung mga gulay. For example, yung ating sili at yung white onion ay hindi ko na tinatrap. Why? Kasi 
masyadong mababa yung calories nila. So, low calorie lang naman sila. Pero mamaya ipapakita ko sa inyo yung buong yung buong calorie intake ko for for this entire day. At magiiwan ako doon ng ng maliit na calories. So, hindi talaga natin hindi sila tinatrack, no? Magiiwan tayo ng ng counting calories para doon sa mga gulay. So, kumbaga rough estimate yung ginagawa natin para sa mga gulay. Alright, dinner is done. Pero alam niyo yun, pagtapos ng dinner nyo, may, may, may something kayong kinikrave. Something that is sweet. No? Something that is chocolatey. Something that will mm, satisfy these cravings. At better something than something that is a donut. Yeah! Something like a Krispy Kreme chocolate glazed Donut! At that, exactly ang kakainin natin for our dessert. At ito, tamang-tama lang siya sa ating calories. no So, pasok na pasok pa siya. At ito yung maganda sa flexible dieting or pa pag tinatrack mo yung calories mo. Dahil hanggat hindi ka sumusobra sa calorie intake mo, sa daily caloric intake mo, eh you will not gain weight. Alam nyo, ilang beses ko nang sinasabi to, pero we need to reiterate this fact na gaining weight and losing weight is all about the energy balance inside your body. It's all about the calories in versus calories out. Ngayon, if I'm trying to lose fat, to get chiseled, to have that shredded six-pack, eh di I'll eat in a deficit. Kahit magsingit ako ng napakasasarap na pagkain tulad nitong chocolate glazed donut na to. As long as I am in a deficit, fat loss can take care of himself. Ganon lang kadali. Ganon kasaya mag-diet. Ganon kadali mag-diet with the help of intermittent fasting na hindi, tayo, hindi natin ini-spread yung meals natin. No? So meron tayong napaka... Uh, satisfying big meals na pwede tayong magsingit ng napakasasarap na pagkain at hindi tayo sosobra dun sa calories natin. Ganun lang kadali. Yun ang silbi ng intermittent fasting. Yun ang silbi ng flexible dieting. Ito yung diet na pinopromote ko. Hindi mo nararamdaman na nagda-diet ka. Ganun lang siya kadali. Maa-achieve mo yung bodily goals mo. You will get the body, the dream body that you want while still enjoying your life. Dahil nga, fitness is something that will improve your life. Hindi siya magiging hinder o magiging hadlang nung sa mga bagay na gusto mo. Ito yung fitness na magi improve sa each and every aspect of your life. Alright? That's basically it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this type of content, please make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.